What is up creatives? This is Tom, welcome back to another video. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. First of all, a massive thank you to my friend Josh, who absolutely killed it, one on his one wheel, but two with those crazy flipping tricks and parkour halfway through. If you're interested in checking out his Instagram, I'll link that down below in the description. But I shot that entire sequence on my EOS R that is filming me right now, using the Canon 16 at 235 millimeter f2.8, and this new gimbal. This is the Zion or Gion, uh, I hope that I'm saying that right, uh, Crane 2S. It is a gimbal that's not been out for a little while and I was a long time user of the Zion Crane 2. I used that gimbal for about two years. It was one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I think I've ever owned. So I was super excited when I got invited to try the Crane 2S by Zion. And I have just absolutely been loving this gimbal. It's an absolute powerhouse. They've made some significant changes from the version one of the gimbal. So in this video, I'm going to go through some of those changes, uh, give you some of my thoughts and feedback about the gimbal. Yeah, and basically just sort of let you know how I'm feeling about this piece of kit after using it for the last kind of couple of weeks. So I've got an attachment on it right now. I'm gonna take this off because it is a sort of standard uh, sort of single pole gimbal setup, like the, uh, the main sort of bulk of the gimbal is this. So it is relatively compact like this isn't the biggest gimbal in the world certainly nothing like uh, the uh, DJI Ronin M or anything like that where it's like these big sort of multi-hand setups and these these pa these gimbals previously had a bit of a trade-off in power however uh, the recent releases from D DJI and, th and this one right here means that uh, that you are not compromising in terms of power anymore. These gimbals are real sort of powerhouses. And uh, that's been the most significant upgrade, I think, from the uh, Crane 2, the original sort of uh, release of this style of gimbal, is that the motors and the motor power that comes with these uh, gimbals now is just really, really good. Like you can see from some of these shots uh, in the video, I was absolutely pelting it. You can even see my little legs running along like full speed to keep up with Josh's one wheel. And yeah, there's a bit of shape, but I'm absolutely gunning it, like pretty much sprinting uh, at full pace in order to sort of keep uh, keep up my pace with Josh. And there definitely is a little bit of shake in here, like a shot like this, but not a substantial amount. And this is not a like crazy light setup. Uh, it's a relatively heavy lens and a decent uh, a camera sized body. But of course we will get to some proper sort of uh, power tests and just to look at how powerful this gimbal actually is a little bit later in the video. So in terms of changes from the Crane 2 to the 2S, uh, one of the most exciting changes, and uh, you can see the Zion uh, Weebill S behind me there, and uh, that actually has locks, and they have put the locks on this new system. It means that it's a breeze to whack your camera on and balance, like it is a super easy process now to balance your camera on these gimbals because of the locks on each of the axis. It also means that when you're carrying around the gimbal, you're not going to get, you know, these things in your way and bumping you uh, and, uh, you know, spinning around. You can just lock it in place, even lock it with a camera on uh, on the mount. And that's just nice and easy. Obviously, the motor improvements and the motor uh, changes in terms of power. You can also, you do also have an option to remove this bracket at the back. And I will actually do that later in the video. I'll link a tutorial if you want to follow that along down below from uh, a fellow YouTube creator here, Lee Zach. Uh, who made a really good tutorial on how to do that. I'm not going to show you the process, but I will show you the outcome. I'm going to take my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera out, mount it on this thing, and I'm going to relocate the rear motor down. So that's another positive change. You just have an extra option for flexibility on the sort of mounting on a gimbal like this. So let's just unlock this very quickly, and you can sort of get an idea of what. So that's one unlocked, two unlocked, and... That is a fully unlocked gimbal right there. And as you can see, that is sort of moving around. Another really uh, positive change, in my opinion, from the Crane 2 to the Crane 2S is that they've really improved the mounting options and the sort of mounting flexibility here. You can see that I have one catch. So I will take this catch off uh, and relax that and I can pull this out. This is the mounting plate for the gimbal, and this is a Manfrotto compatible plate, meaning that you can just drop that on to your camera and basically have your camera permanently mounted, go from handheld shooting to tripod shooting to gimbal shooting, and you literally just slide this plate in 
just like this and then you'll mount it again on the camera uh, with a camera on the gimbal. So a super, super nice change. Another great change from the 2S is that this is fully compatible with vertical shooting. So I can take this plate off here and put it in the mount here, tighten this bracket up, and then I have the camera fully configured for vertical shooting, really useful for Instagram content, that type of thing. Uh, at, but you know, and that change has taken me, uh, you know, all of 30 seconds. You need to rebalance your camera afterwards, but uh, that's nice and easy. So talking about power, just how powerful is this gimbal? And like I said, after this segment of the video, I'm going to mount my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and give you guys some a few more footage examples of a slightly heavier camera setup. But something which I decided to do on the shoot day was basically just see run, run and gun style whether I could balance my Canon 70 to 200 millimeters f2.8 on the gimbal and I have to admit the balancing didn't go too well. I hold my hands up and say I'm not the best person in the world at balancing gimbals. However, I was extremely impressed that even with a camera setup which was not the best balanced, the gimbal still had enough power to drive the EOS R and the 70-200 with an adapter. Like it was fairly exceptional to see. Like I don't think the footage is going to be the best in the world, but it was just re relatively exceptional that it actually had enough power even to be able to drive this heavy lens like previously that just wouldn't have been an option the motors would have cracked out and it would have just sort of crashed and potentially even damaged your lens that's not happening on this gimbal build so that is a super massive improvement like the motors are extremely powerful so very quickly i'm going to get my uh, weebill s down and you can see that the size of this gimbal is tiny and this is an exceptionally powerful little gimbal and there'll be a lot of people that are weighing over the sort of comparisons about whether you should be going for a gimbal like this or a gimbal like the Crane 2S which is a gimbal like this. As you can see there's a pretty sizable size difference uh, but there's also a big power difference and also price difference for a, uh, a gimbal like this and I would say if you're doing a lot of traveling maybe you might want to go with the Weebill S but something like like the Crane 2S, for me personally, I think is going to be a much better fit. I actually don't use gimbals all that much anymore. I will use them for a certain type of project, things like shooting hotels or property, anywhere that I need super, super smooth, reliable camera moves. And for me, that's just not required when I'm, th you know, I'm traveling, I just shoot everything handheld. So the actual portability of the gimbal is less important for me. I will much prefer things like the battery life to be great and also the power. And the power is pretty much the most important thing I need to know that on a shoot even if things aren't balanced like absolutely perfectly the gimbal has enough power to uh, drive any setup that I'm throwing at it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mount my black magic pocket cinema camera just a beast of a camera amazing image that you get out of this and there'll be a lot of people wanting to use a setup like this on the Crane 2S so let's see how it performs I'm going to relocate the motor and uh, power on the camera mount this bad boy and see how we get on and show you some more footage. Guys, I really love this gimbal. So as you can see, this is the sort of mounted um, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera setup. I've got pretty much the heaviest lens, apart from the 70-200, the, 70, the uh, heaviest lens that I would use on a gimbal setup. This is the Canon 20-40-70mm f2.8, a little bit heavier than the Sigma 18-35, so a really, really decent test. And this thing just absolutely handles it like a beast, as you can see. Like. It's just a massively 
amazing gimbal for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Per basically the perfect fit. I think it is definitely going to take over the place of the uh, Webuilt S that I've been using for the past sort of six months or so. There's just a couple of things that I do want to address here. First of all is that when I think about gimbals, when I personally use gimbals, I just want them to work. I want them to have amazing battery life. I want them to have great power capabilities so that I don't have to worry too much about getting the absolute perfect balance on every single thing that I'm using. I want the, the motors to be able to handle pretty much every setup that I can throw at it. I don't worry too much about any of these sort of mad modes, orbiting modes, all of these crazy features that they're adding to gimbals now. I want it to do the basics exceptionally well. And I personally think that the Zion Crane 2 is like the perfect fit with this. And then next, the other extremely important thing when it comes to gimbals for me is battery life. The battery life on this Crane 2S is exceptional. I have shot for three consecutive days for I would say about two hours a piece on each day. And some of these have been quite intense. That shoot at the start that you saw with um, me running after, you know, that the, the gimbal is having to do quite a lot of work on that occasion. And this battery is still only three charge so you apparently get a full day of shooting start to finish on one of these charges I can definitely back up and agree that you're probably going to get that type of length so just amazing like you can buy the combo set and you get an additional backup pair of batteries and you are going to be able to shoot on this beast of a gimbal for all day or full day of shooting with absolutely no problems I think this gimbal is definitely going to make it into my permanent kit selection personally camera gear for me is all about removing limitations uh, and this gimbal definitely does do that for when I need a gimbal I just want it to work and I think the Zion Crane 2S is doing a decent job of that. If you have any questions about this gimbal, this setup, please leave them in the comments section down below. Hopefully I've done a good job of illustrating just why you might want to go for a setup like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.